Um, just have, staying confident and not really worrying about, like you said, th those games. You know, against Florida State, I didn't watch the film. I didn't. I just took it out of my head and just focused on the next team. And I think having that mentality of just focus on the next game one at a time, I think that um, that's my. That's why I'm playing the way I'm playing. You know, I, I just try to make the, the right plays. You know, with, when you don't have a point guard, I just want to go out there and make the extra pass. You know, and playing with David today was incredible. He's he's so fundamentally sound and makes the right plays. So it was a lot of fun playing against playing with him and just being able to move the ball. And everybody got great shots. 19 assists today, 13. What, what's going into just really being able to share the ball like? That? You know, coaches put so much emphasis on moving the ball since we had lost both of our point guards and. Um, you know, David and I, we kind of took it upon ourselves to just distribute the ball and um, just find open guys. And they and Dang and him found me many times, and uh, we did the same thing in the second half. So just being able to find an open man and uh, not worry about um, hunting shots. What are these games without the guards reveal about their chemistry? I mean, something different about um, Guys stepping up. You know, you got VJ coming in playing tremendous defense. Ryan coming in. But like two or three times, just hold, locking Dennis Smith down, you know, and um, that builds a lot of confidence when you have guys who you're not, you're kind of unsure of because you don't really see them play against high, high level guards coming out there and uh, stopping them. You know, that builds confidence, and you can talk to them and we switch and rotate. So just having that confidence when you lose two leaders like that is, is huge.